We have calculated and the evidence will show that there were 682,770 mail-in ballots that were entered into your votes in just Allegheny County and in Philadelphia that were not observed by any single Republican. Those ballots could have all been for Joe Biden. They could have all been for someone else. They could have had no identifying data. They could have been from the same person. There could have been multiples of them. There could have been no name on them. We have no idea if that's true. Uh, and it will be very hard now to kind of put them together. We could ask and you could subpoena all of the outer envelopes. It'd be very interesting to take a look at the 682,770 outer envelopes. It'd be very interesting if they were kept. That it'd be very interesting to see how many of them weren't filled out. But in any event, under the law of your state, which is set by you, those ballots are illegal. Uh, the judge mistakenly, in his opinion, said that we want to disenfranchise six million people. We don't want to disenfranchise anyone. We want to, we want to disqualify 682,000 votes so that 74 million people are not disenfranchised. Because that's, that's what happened by the cheating that went on here. I'll give you one other enormously puzzling statistic. You sent out in the state of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania 1,823, 148 absentee or mail-in ballots. You received back 1.4 million approximately. However, in the count for president, you counted 2.5 million. I don't know what accounts for that 700,000 difference between the number of ballots you sent out and the number of ballots that ended up in the count. That number, 2,589,242, was on your government website until yesterday. And yesterday it was removed without explanation. I'm going to be very interested in hearing what the explanation is. And I can't imagine you could possibly certify without knowing the explanation to that, as well as the explanation to the 22,686 mail-in ballots that were returned on the day they were mailed. That's a trick. How about uh, they were returned, how about 32,591 were returned the day after they were mailed? Another 20,000 were returned <laughs> before they were mailed. <laughs> of course, this is only, this is, I think this is a kind of a low count, and I, I guess the crooks in Philadelphia are disappointed in this. They only submitted 8,021 ballots from dead people, mail-in ballots for dead people. It's probably easier for dead people to submit mail-in ballots than it is to vote in person. You, you had about 30,000 of those. We're checking the records of the cemeteries around Philadelphia. You have 4,984 mail-in ballots that were never requested, and on and on and on and on. Your, uh, uh, your election, because of these two counties and maybe one other, is a sham. It's a disgrace to your state. And finally, I, I don't need to remind you of this. I think I need to remind America of this. Uh, the election for the President of the United States is not run by the governor of your state. It's not run by your election commissioner. The United States Constitution makes it clear who has the responsibility for running this election. Article 2, Section 1, Clause 2 of our Constitution uh, doesn't say that ABC gets to call the winner or CNN. It says... Each state shall appoint in such manner as the legislature thereof may direct a number of electors. It's the state legislature that controls this process. It's your power. It's your responsibility. And uh, I, think you, I think you know, and you have to convince the rest of your members, Republican and Democrat, they owe that to the people of your state and they owe that to the people of the United States. Amen. Because if this happens without consequence, if they can just enter 600,000 some odd 
mail-in ballots without allowing a single Republican to, to view it, what's to say that next time they won't do a million or two million? I know crooks really well. You give them an inch and they take them a mile, and you give them a mile and they take your whole country. So now we'll proceed with the witnesses.